Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at red versus green flags on a first date. We're gonna take a look at an example scenario and I wanna know how many red and green flags you guys can find. Let me know in the comments. And next week in my video, I'll take a look and tell you what I found in this scenario. That being said, let's hop straight into it. Thank you so much for inviting me over for a nice home-cooked meal. Of course. Please, take a bite. Yeah, I'd love to try it. Right now? Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Good to hear. Good to hear. Well, anyways, tell me about yourself. What are your hobbies? What are your passions? What's your profession? Well, I'm a music teacher, so I obviously have a passion for music and for teaching it to other people. Hmm. I always thought music classes were a waste of time and funding. No offense, though. Great. But actually, I do think music is important. I mean, music education affects language development, and it actually changes the brain. In fact, Children's Music Workshop, which is quoted in PBS.org's article, The Benefits of Music Education, says, Recent studies have clearly indicated that music training physically develops the left side of the brain known to be involved with processing language. I mean, I consider music to basically be a language. It's looking at symbols on a page and knowing how to interpret it and making sound. Okay, fine. But I bet you can't name another reason why music education is good. Well, music is not only mentally, but it's also physically involved. It helps develop motor skills and hand-eye coordination, according to the National Association for Music Education. And Kenneth Gilmartin is also quoted in the PBS article on the subject, and he brings up the great point that both large and small muscles, and the eyes and ears, are involved in music. I don't know, I'm just not really seeing why it helps. Could you give me an example? I mean, take a piano player, for example. Not only do they have to know the keys and the chords, but their hands have to move where their brain tells it to, often really quickly and over significant distances. I mean, anyone can tap the keys of the piano, but how quickly and accurately can you do it? Children who are involved in music education begin to develop those skills on any instrument. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Great. I mean, think about it. There are so many benefits to music education. Can you think of any? I'll look into it and get back to you. Okay, well, tell me a little bit about yourself now. <laughs> no. Definitely some interesting stuff going on there. Let me know what red and green flags you guys found in the comments below and the most liked comment will get a shout out next week in my video where I react to this video and let you guys know what I was seeing in that scenario. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Take care.